Sur, Namaste, Namo Buddhai. On the occasion of the 75th anniversary of India's independence and the 70th anniversary of India-Cambodia relations, Embassy of India in association with Venerable Kusofir is proud to present a series on the Jataka tales. The first of this series is the story of Mahakapi Jataka. The series will present India-Cambodia Buddhist linkages as well as show various Buddhist pilgrimages sites such as Sarnath, Baruch and Ajanta. Uh, Venerable Kusofi uh, for our Indian audience is a very respected monk in Cambodia. I now invite Venerable to say a few words about this series. <laughs> ហើយនេះសម្បាយចិត្តដោយលោកស៊ីលដេវីអានីជាទូតរបស់ទីនរកតន្ត្រីបានរៀបចំអឺជាតិដកតេះតើតេះតងនឹងសំណើការនៃការ
The king who watches the entire scene unfolding before his eyes is astounded at the great monkey's dedication and compassion towards his subjects. He becomes deeply repentant of what he has done and summons his soldiers to save the great monkey, but it is too late. In his last moments on his deathbed, the great monkey teaches the king the qualities of a true leader and how despite all hurdles for a king, the welfare of his subjects is at most even more than his own life. When the great monkey dies, the king pays homage to his relics and abides by the teachings of selflessness and generosity till the very end of his life. The Mahakapi Jataka is depicted through art in three places across India, Bharut, Sanchi and the Ajanta Caves. The Bharut Stupa and sculptures found in the village of Bharut in Madhya Pradesh represent some of the earliest examples of Indian art and architecture, that is, in the 2nd century BCE. The site was excavated by the British civil servant Alexander Cunningham in 1874. This roundel relief is one of the most stunning representations of the Mahakapi Jataka in art at the Bharut Stupa. It is in the form of a medallion and it depicts multiple scenes from the Mahakapi Jataka. We see the river Ganges abundant with fish and two trees on either side of the river. The great monkey, having fastened his ankle to the tree on the left, clutches firmly onto the branches of the tree on the right, making his body a bridge for the monkeys to safely tread upon. In the top half of the relief, the monkeys are shown moving from the tree on the right to the one on the left, climbing the body of the Bodhisattva. We also see next to the river two men holding a piece of fabric to rescue the injured monkey. In another scene, we see the king and the great monkey sitting across each other wherein the great monkey teaches righteousness to the king. The Mahakapi Jataka is the centerpiece of one of the railings of the Bharut Stupa. At present, this rounded relief is housed in the Indian Museum, Kolkata. Sachi is a complex of ancient Buddhist stone structures in the state of Madhya Pradesh. It is an extremely important monument and was originally commissioned in the 3rd century BC by Ashoka the Great to house the relics of the Buddha. The original construction work of this stupa was overseen by Ashoka, whose wife Devi was the daughter of a merchant of a nearby town called Vidisha. Sachi was also her birthplace as well as the venue of her and Ashoka's wedding. In this relief at Sachi from the 1st century BCE, we see the river Ganges full of lively fish flanked by two trees on either side. In the topmost part of the panel, we see the great monkey making his body into a bridge to rescue his tribe. Below this, we see the great monkey instructing the king on the values of righteous leadership. Further down, we see the king's archer pointing his bow and arrow to shoot the Bodhisattva. To the left of this, we see the king riding on a horseback with a parasol. At the very bottom of the panel, we see attendants and musicians depicting the royal entourage of the king. The Ajanta Caves are about 30 rock-cut caves dating from the 2nd century BCE to 480 CE in the Aurangabad district of Maharashtra. They are the finest surviving examples of Buddhist paintings, art and architecture which depict emotions, postures and gestures through expressive paintings and carved sculptures unique to Ajanta. The Ajanta Caves are also categorized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1983 and is a protected monument. In this painting at cave number 17 at the Ajanta Caves, we see the great monkey lying injured on his deathbed while the king and the attendants tend to him in his last moments. Truly, the Mahakapi Jataka teaches us the value of selfless love, great sacrifice and leadership. It is a story of ideal leadership very relevant to modern times with much to imbibe from. 
Throughout the 547 Jataka stories, we find gems of wisdom. Each story in its ornate glory, teaching us the value of living the ethical life, doing good for others and for oneself. Even today, the Jatakas live fresh in our hearts, as they have lived in the past and will probably into the future, arousing and kindling our true inner goodness. Today, in times of great despair, disease and suffering, Jataka stories hold the promise of hope, optimism and peace for all the people of the world, irrespective of colour, race and religion.